for, uh, for coming here. It's a huge pleasure for me. Um, is your translation system working? I hope so. Um, anyway, I'm talking, of course, about religion. And, you know, religion is one of the main uh, ways in which the modern world is divided. You know, we have those who believe and those who don't believe. We have the religious and we have the atheists. And, you know, recently atheists have become ever more aggressive against religion. When we think of what an atheist means, we often think this is somebody who not only does not believe, it's also someone who thinks that, religious is, that religion is ridiculous, is, is silly. Uh, someone who feels the need to mock religious people. That's what it can seem as though uh, it means to be uh, a, 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 an atheist. Now, I don't believe in mocking or um, ridiculing anyone for their beliefs. I think we need a new kind of definition of atheism. It's a new atheism that begins with the idea that, of course, of course, maybe you don't believe in God. Maybe you don't believe in anything supernatural, you don't believe in reincarnation, you're not attracted to anything like this. But, but, this is not the end of the story. This, if you like, is just the beginning of the story. We shouldn't build atheism around rejection. You know, I wrote my book for a certain kind of person, a sort of person who feels a bit like this. They say, I can't believe in anything supernatural. I don't like the doctrines of religion, but, but, very big but, I love Christmas. I love the atmosphere of monasteries. Uh, I love the smell of old churches. I like the music of uh, bells. Uh, I like the chanting of monks. I like Bach's Mass in B minor. You know this sort of person. Maybe some of you uh, in the audience today are that sort of person. Someone who, as I say, can't believe in the doctrines, but is very attracted to a lot of things that, that go with religion. Now, until now, it seems like there's an uncomfortable choice. You know, either you believe in the doctrines, you believe in Jesus and reincarnation, etc., or um, uh, sorry, and then you have all the nice rituals and you have Christmas, etc. Or you don't believe, you can't believe in these doctrines and then you have nothing. You have no Christmas, you just have, well, CNN and Walmart. You live in an emotionally, emotional kind of desert, spiritual desert. Now, I want to suggest that this is not the choice we have.